Hello, hello. Welcome to the Make Your Studio Facebook page. I am Cheryl and I am a creator over on the Home of My Making Facebook page, but I'm here to debut a new stencil for a Maker's Studio. So let's start as you're hopping on. Let me know you're here. Let me know where you're watching from. And don't forget to tag three friends and share this video so that you can be in the drawing for the stencil. So let me show you what this stencil is. So this is called Set Your Heart. Let me just see if I can put it up there. So it says Set Your Heart on Things Above. So the thing that I love about this stencil is, first of all, there's flowers on it. So that is something that I love. And you could use just this part of the stencil, just this part of the stencil, just this part of the stencil. You could just use this and this and put a different wording in here. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to use part of this stencil today for a fun unique project. So if you are new to the Maker Studio line of stencils, they are a tri-mesh adhesive stencil. They come in a sleeve like this. They have an adhesive backing that is on a um, paper backing and you peel them off and you apply them to the surface. Now the good thing about an adhesive stencil like this that has mesh in it, it has so much detail. So much better than a plastic stencil because you can't get all those details. So let me show you what I'm going to do today. I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm going to start with a board. Now I did get this board at a store called Pop Shelf. That's like a subsidiary of Dollar General. They're popping up all over the country. Right now they're kind of like in Tennessee and um, North Carolina and Georgia. But you could recreate this um, project on any surface using the same technique that I'm about to show you. So we're going to start with this board. One of the things I'm also going to start with is the one step paint in the Amy Howard at home line. Now I love this paint. It is a chalk based paint. It's one step, which necessarily doesn't mean, you know, one coat, there's no priming sanding. That's what the one step means. But this is the color Midnight Dreams. Now, so what I like to do, because I'm not the cleanest or um, non-messy crafter, I like to transfer it to a little container, and I do get these at the Dollar Tree. They're little condiment bowls. So I like working out of these. I pour some of it in here, and then what I do is when this is all done, just throw this container out so that I can um, have a clean lid on this one because when I'm working out of it I tend to be really messy and then I I get it so that the uh, lid can't come off I'm sure you all can relate to that so let me show you what I'm doing I'm gonna put this to the side I'm gonna take some painters tape and I'm gonna tape off about hmm, I would say about one-third of the surface of this board so hoping that I get this kind of even let me see I'm going to tape off about right there. Let's see if it's straight across. And that's what I'm going to start with. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to take some water. I do have like a little um, piece of paper towel here that I can put my brush in if I need to. So I'm going to just take a little bit of water and I'm going to go into my paint. So I am only going to paint from here down in this paint. Also, the paint comes in so many luscious colors, but I love this color called Midnight Dreams. It's a pretty um, rich blue and it goes with my decor. Now, don't forget, as you hop on, let us know where you're watching from. Also, don't forget to tag three, three friends and um, share this video tutorial, and you will be in the giveaway drawing for the stencil. And make your studio gracious enough to let me give away the stencil today. So sometimes it does take two coats to color. Again, it's a one step paint, not a one coat paint, but I'll see how well it does with the one coat if I do get coverage with it. Just long strokes. 
and I'm going to hit it with a heat gun. Since I am on a live tutorial, I am going to hit it on a, with a heat gun. And um, you don't normally have to do that unless you're in a rush. But if you just step away for 15 to 20 minutes, you can then go ahead and um, continue your next coat if you need it. But because we are on a live, I am going to hit it with a heat gun. And it's also going to let me be able to see if I need another coat. So I'm just going to take a heat gun. You could also use a blow dryer. Don't put it too close to the surface because you don't want to um, have it crack or bubble up from the heat. My heat gun's very, very, very hot. So I like to keep it away from the surface. I could tell that it's drying, it's getting into a matte color. I don't know if you could see that on camera, but it, it got to a matte. If you look, you could see a little bit of wet here because of the shine. So I could see it. And then when it all gets a matte finish, I know that it's dry. So you could see now that it's dry. I think I do need one more coat. So I am gonna go over it again with the Midnight Dreams paint and get my second coat. If you notice, I'm working down from the tape so that I don't get anything underneath the tape. In other words, don't push it that way. The second coat is much easier. I would prefer two thin coats than one thick coat. Again, that heat dryer is a good tool to use when you're in a rush, but necessarily you don't need to do that because one step paint dries pretty quick since it is a water-based paint. And it is a chalk paint, by the way. So you don't necessarily have to seal it. If you were to put something like this, I'm gonna put this in a water bath, in a water bath. If you need to put this outside, something like this, not this particular product, you would seal it. And we do have a matte sealer. But normally, um, once that paint does not need to be sealed and it's permanent. So I think I did get perfect coverage with the second coat. I'm going to take my tape off. I am going to hit it with a heat gun. Again, as you can see, you can see it start to um, dry. If you can see the shine on there. See that shine that's on that paint? When I'm done with it, it won't shine. It'll dry to a matte finish. Now, normally, I like to walk away for a while before I even put a stencil onto the um, one-step paint. But for the live purpose, I am going to do it right after I dry it. Again, I could see it turning matte in the light, so I know I'm getting it dry. You see that? See how it, you still got shiny spots? So I'm just hitting it, making sure that it is totally dry. Again, if you're not on the live, just walk away and um, let it dry on its own. So if you're just hopping on, my name is Cheryl, and I create over on the Home of My Making Facebook page, but I'm here on the a Maker Studio Facebook page debuting a new stencil. And if you just hopped on, don't forget to tag three friends and also share this tutorial. And you will be in a giveaway for this lovely stencil. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. I still see some of it wet. Let's get it, let's get it. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's good enough. So what I'm going to do is take the stencil off of here. And I am using two colors of gel art ink. I'm going to be using the Can't Never Could, which is a black gel art ink, and then the Well I Declare, which is the white gel art ink. Let me close my little containers up. Because these are water-based paints and products, do close your um, containers up just the way they don't dry out. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just use the bottom 
or two thirds part of the stunt goal to set your heart on things above and this. But this area right here, I want to line it up with the line here. So when I put this on here, I want to line. Let me get that centered. Let's see if I got that centered. So what I'm trying to do is I want to get these flowers into the Midnight Dreams color, but I don't want to set your heart on things above. I want that up here. So since this is a adhesive stencil, go ahead and get it real tight against your surface. So what I'm going to do to um, apply the gel art ink is I like these spreaders. And the reason why I like these spreaders is you can actually cut them to different sizes so that you can have more control of your um, stenciling. So I'm going to take the Can't Never Could, which is the black, and I'm going to put just a tad of gel art ink on the spreader. I like to start with less and add more than to have too much and keep scraping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna do the wording in the black. And you just scrape it through, press it through, and you could tell when it goes through because it kind of hides the surface color coming through. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit more and once you see that it's through, you really don't have to keep going over it. If you applied too much gel art ink, you would have to go back over. But again, my theory is less is more. Just making sure I got the very tips of the word down here. I do have a water bath next to me, and I like to put all my um, stencils and the spreaders because they... I'll move that in in a second. These are washable, so I'm just gonna put that in there. Now I'm gonna take my white Well I Declare chalk art, put a little bit on the spreader, and now I'm just gonna do the bottom half. This is going to have so much detail on top of this one-step paint. And I am being mindful not to go off the surface and onto the blue midnight dreams one step in. i'm going to add just a little bit more get the rest of my stencil and then we're going to have a beautiful diy decor piece i'm just making sure i don't see no blue through here because if i see blue that means that i see the uh surface and i don't want to see that so now what i'm going to do is this is the this is the best part pulling it off So I am going to put this in a water bath and I'll talk about that in a second. So I just want it to get um, wet. But here's what I have. Isn't that beautiful? So you can seal this. If you were going to put food on it, I would seal it. We do have a matte sealer. We also have a line of waxes that you can do um, and go over it with a wax. But I'm going to use it as a decorative piece, so I'm not going to be using it for food. Sometimes I just like to on the counter or sit them up on the back of the counter with a couple of other um cutting boards so simple and easy i like the use of the color the paint so that the flowers are separate in a different color so what do you think give me some thumbs up if you think this is a cute project so let me show you how to maintain our stencils for those of you that are new to the line of a maker studio stencils so when you're done using your stencil, I suggest either you go right to the sink, or in my case, because I am on a live, I have a water bath here. And what you do is you could just take your fingers and run it over the stencil and get all the product out of the mesh part of the stencil, which is where the detail is. Now, some of the pigments in the stencils will stain the stencil. And what I mean by that, you could see this black on here. That's only staining the gray area. It's not staining the, um, the mesh part of the stencil or impeding the next usage. Because these are reusable, all you have to do is take all the product out of it 
just like that. You basically can use your hand. I like using, if we use the ceramic paint because it's a little bit thicker, I do like using um, a little sponge. But then all you would do is take the stencil that is washed, and this is the sticky side, so you would just lay it on a cloth, just like that, let it air dry. When it's completely dry, what you would do is you would put it back on its backing, put it back into the sleeve, and you will be able to use it for many, many, many more projects to come. So I hope you enjoyed this project. And again, you could do this on any surface, this technique with this stencil. I like the two tone different colors of the gel art ink and then a one step paint. So thank you for joining me. Don't forget to go ahead and tag three friends and then share this video tutorial to your Facebook page. Thanks again for joining me on the Maker Studio Facebook page, and you can join me on my page over at Home of My Making. So thank you and have a wonderful day. Go create something fun.